the absolute embarrassment. Um, Piastri, 42 seconds behind. I think it's time to do the driver rankings. Lando Norris, A star, pole position, fastest. Um, I don't know whether he's getting the fastest lap point, but he's led every lap. Perfect start, won the race, never looked in danger, kept pushing the car on the limit every lap. Um, a star, Max Verstappen, I'll give him an A grade. Got the absolute maximum of the Red Bull this afternoon, and he would have truly deserved second place. And it means that it, um, his championship lead only drops to 52 points, meaning that, of course, um, as long as Verstappen finishes second in every race for the rest of the year, he should still win the championship, even if Norris gets the fastest lap point in every in every in the remaining six races. Piastri, it's gonna be a B minus for me. Decent performance, but B I mean that's but really his qualifying was terrible and 42 seconds behind Norris is a bit worrying, I have to say, even though he is a rookie-ish. George Russell, give him fourth place. Um, I'll give him a B grade. I don't think the Sadies were really that quick this weekend, and I think the practice performances were rather deceiving. Fifth place, Leclerc, B+. Plus. Very good drive, but of course, I don't think Ferrari, I mean, well, I mean, they screwed up in qualifying, but really, I think they did a pretty good job to recover with Leclerc, and his late race pace was pretty good. Sixth place, Lewis Hamilton, B-. minus. Poor star, and really, he was always on the back foot, and that six was the maximum he could do. Signed seventh place, I'll give him a C grade. Very, I mean, what a bizarre decision to pick him so early, and frankly, seventh place was about as much as he could do. Eighth place, Fernando Alonso. I'll give him something like an A minus because I actually think Alonso could have beaten Sainz for sixth for seventh place, but I think Alonso decided he'd be better off banking points for eighth place, which is fair enough because I think, let's be honest, Aston Martin will finish fifth in the constructors. Ninth place, Nico Holgerberg. I'll give him a grade, a fantastic, exhilarating qualified performance, getting sixth place in Q3. Obviously, he was never going to finish that high up in the race, but he's done a great job to score another two vital points for the horse team in their battle for seventh place against RB. Or is it sixth place? I don't know. Tenth place, Sergio Perez. It's going to be a D grade for me. Not good enough. Way, way too slow. 70, 80 odd, 80, 90 seconds behind Verstappen. That is absolutely horrific. Um, 11th place, Colapinto. It's an A grade once again. So, so impressive. Out, um, within a tenth of Albin in qualifying. Great start. Ran in the top ten for the first stint and um, narrowly miss out, misses out on points. Um, 12th place, well, Stroll was much so in the top 40, so I'll tell you that. 12th place, Sonoda. I'll give him a C, um, a B grade. Fantastic qualifying performance. It's just a shame he couldn't keep it up in a race. 13th place, Ocon. I'll give him a C grade. All over the place today. 14th place, Lance Stroll. D minus. And I'll give him the FDZ award of the race fraud detection zone winner because, my God, he was terrible today. Absolutely no pace. 15th and 16th, Joe and Bottas. I'll give them a pair of C grades. They can't do anything that's out, but forget about it. 17th place, Gasly, C grade. I don't know what happened to um later on in the race, but, you know, I mean, I think Gasly clearly had a problem and then, of course, had to finish down in 17th. 18th and 19th, Ricardo and Magnussen. I'll give them a pair of D grades because... <laughs> I mean, yes, I mean, you could give um, Ricardo banter points for um, getting the fastest laps, but really, I think that's going to be the last time we see Ricardo in Formula 1. And Magnussen, well, nothing's changed. Like, he's pretty much miles behind Hulkenberg in terms of raw speed, and there's nothing else to get to say. 
Dude, Fernando Alonso has got Lance Stroll as a teammate. Like, Lance Stroll is not a good comparison, okay? Let me just, let's just 